In the 7th century, like most branches of medicine, embryology was in its infancy. The most advanced embryological knowledge of the day, belonged to the Greek Dr. Galen, who held incorrect notions about the origin of semen, and the development of the embryo. In contrast, the Quranic account is more accurate, and verified by our modern observations. Verily, we created man from an extract of clay, then we placed him as a drop of sperm in a safe depository. Then we fashioned the sperm into a clot, then we fashioned the clot into a shapeless lump, then we fashioned bones out of this shapeless lump, then we clothed the bones with flesh, then we developed it into another creation, so blessed be Allah, the best of creators. The words used in this verse, accurately depicts the detail and sequence of how we develop in the womb. The Quran describes how the conceptus is produced from a mixture of elements, how the early embryo clings onto the uterine wall, how it then develops into a differentially formed lump, before developing bony structures clothed with flesh. Finally, it describes the birth of the soul, within the physical framework of the body. The sequence and depth of this description, cannot be rivaled by any understanding, available at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Given the verse's startling accuracy, Maurice Bacale, a French doctor who studied this verse, remarked. More than a thousand years before our time, at a period when whimsical doctrine still prevailed, men had, the Quran. The statements, it contains express in simple terms, truths of primordial importance, which man has taken centuries to discover.